What is up guys this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel if you're using redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s poco m2 pro or redmi note 9 pro max which means a mere tool device evolution x official build is now available which is honestly great this is one of the perfect rooms out there for redmi note 9 s and redmi note 9 pro poco m2 pro and redmi note 9 pro max users room is pretty smooth i'm using from some time i'm quite quite satisfied with this one battery backup is just great i'll show you whole battery backup the performance is good also some features everything in this video i learned alongside with the installation and in this video i'm going to share with you so make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started Guys, this one is Evolution X, which you can see is based on Android version 11 device, Redmi Note 9 Pro Mi at all. The official version Evolution X version 5.1. I already have a video on Evolution X 5.1 for Redmi Note 8 users. So if you're a Redmi Note 8 user, you can go and check it out that video. And also I'll try to provide the link for all the official supported devices. So if you have any device which is supported for Evolution X, you can check out if a device is officially supported for Android version 11. And if the Android 11 build is available, you can go ahead and install that. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a brief look at evolution x kind of things which you get here first of all this latest building includes the latest november security patch and everything seems to be working here the kernel version is atris kernel if you're using redmi note 9 pro atris kernel is pre-installed for you we have the app pinning option available and this comes with the google apps pre-installed which means we have the pixel launcher as a pre-installed launcher which includes some little bit of features talking about the things which are working which are not working I didn't got any major bug as I previously shown you. You can use the Wi-Fi, mobile data, hotspot, everything and Wi-Fi hotspot at the same time working fine here. Do not disturb mode, auto rotate, battery, etc. Everything seems to be working here. You can also click screenshot. The screen tile, screenshot tile option is available here. You can simply able to click screenshot directly from here. It also supports all the live wallpaper. You can simply move on to the styles and wallpapers option from here. We have all these live wallpapers options available. So if you want to check out all these live wallpapers, we have a very cool kind of options available. Whatever default live wallpaper you like, you love to choose, there's an option available for you to simply click for home screen and log screen or both. Whatever else you want to try it out, we have a lot of things, options available. Just click here and you'll see new wallpaper here and these are all the live wallpapers and still after applying the live wallpaper i'm using the live wallpaper on some time and didn't affected the battery backup so much also the performance is quite smooth didn't got any single lag yet so far let's take a look at some things which you get here first of all let me show you my safety net status so that you'll get an idea that banking apps are working or not so if i try it to safety net status you can see my redmi note 8 redmi note 9 pro safety net status is passed which means i'll be able to use the banking apps you can see safe net request success response signature validation success basic integrity success and cts profile match is also success i'm using the latest magic version v21.1 here and i didn't got any issues while using this and but for a kind of information i have still applied this magic hide props config and you can simply try without applying this module if this is working for you if your safe net status is passed then it's quite good and if your safe net status is not passed you can check out this module and how to apply this module and how to pass the safety net i have a video on that make sure to check out that video so that you'll get an idea that how to apply these kind of things overall the gestures the sector working fine screenshots select all options are perfectly fine here it didn't got any major issues and you can see we have the volume panel slide customizations options available this is on the left side you can customize that screenshot and select option both are available here we can hide that pill we can hide those and i may switch your space behind the keyboard Board, everything is working fine here now let's take a look at and setting some little bit of features but talking about the features i have a video for redmi note 8 users so if you haven't checked it out you can check out features are almost same we have the evolver we have this kind of things now let's let's take a brief look at the battery backup first of all so let me show you how about the battery backup how is the battery backup working you can see active drain is 7% per hour which is quite good and you can see idle drain is little bit of higher 0.89% per hour screen on 3 hours and 15 minutes and it's from let me show you my whole battery backup by going to battery stats 22% screen usage since full charge is 6 hours and 51 minutes and the battery backup is from 75% let me show by clicking here the battery backup was 75% and 75 to 22 which means approximately 53% and my screen on time is 
almost seven hours which is quite good i'm using it from approximately whole day and yes it's working good you can use this build as your daily driver if you want a good quality of battery backup good quality of performance and also want to experience latest android version 11 or everything seems to be working here security does not include any face lock any app lock so a little bit of disappointment things but other things seems to be same no extra things to show you almost everything seems to be same here let's take a look at some installation things that how to install this build so guys boot into custom recovery once in my case i'm using redmi note 9 pro and i'm using orange fox custom recovery and if you're also using any of these devices redmi note 9 pro note 9 pro max poco m2 pro or any of these devices redmi note 9s it has the orange fox custom recovery available it's recommended if you install the orange fox custom recovery but if you want to install the lineage recovery it's all about you but it's better to install this orange fox custom recovery it's quite advanced custom recovery which has some features included so it's better that's why i will recommend you to install orange fox custom recovery in my case i'm using orange fox custom recovery as you can see so after booting into custom recovery the first thing which you need to do is let me show you first of all by booting into custom recovery my i am encrypted so that's why this process is for all of the users if you're encrypted if you're decrypted then you might need to follow some little bit of different process i'll try to show that that process very soon in my upcoming videos but right now this process is all for the users who are encrypted like me so what you need to do is first of all go here here you will see these three things dalvik catch and data these three things you need to select and click on swipe to wipe and now just wait for the things to happen and also let me tell you one thing that if in case after installing after booting this room you have the option of that there is no sim card or no sim card is detecting what you need to do is you just need to install the firmware the firmware link i'll try to provide you on my website so that you'll get there and also now in my case i will not get any issues like that we have the this file evolution x 5.1 me and all latest version official version so just select this swipe to install and as i previously told you the room comes with the google apps pre installed so you don't need to install google apps separately or manually after installing this build what you need to do is just reboot your device just format your data if it's not formatted yet and then just reboot your device and it's done it was quite easy to install this build i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me because like these videos are coming to you very very soon and like this you'll get a lot of videos tutorials rooms reviews and also apps reviews very very soon don't forget to follow me on instagram and you can also follow my telegram updates channel for regular updates and now this is all thanks for watching get back